Have you honestly never seen what is going to happen here later? Think of your favourite roller coaster in times of by ten. Really? Ed, it's awesome. Just don't try and tap the barrels, right? Used to, used to, used to chill off white cat and my young The barrel roller. Do I get it like that? We're full over. Check out how I had on my cat. And this man is chill off white cat. I'm working hard, I'm working hard. Got these hunger pains, couple with this bunny chain. You will not believe what I have seen so far. Men running around with barrels of fire on their heads. I don't know what to do about it. The dragon <laughs> In my hometown. <laughs> Once a year at a small town in the south of England, members of the town carry heavy burning barrels on their head and run through crowds of people. ...of Ottery St Mary in Devon. Quiet enough. Every Guy Fawkes Day, they too relive history in the ceremony of the burning barrels. You fill a barrel with tar and straw, set it alight, pick it up and run like blazes. Sound normal? Of course not. But that is why we love it. And we are honoured to be back with an insight into the weird little island we call home with another weird British tradition. So ladies and gentlemen, please buckle yourselves in for this extremely hot episode of The Second Show. The tar barrels dates back to the 16th century and while the actual origins of doing it aren't clear, this doesn't stop thousands of people visiting every single year. So, knowing almost nothing about it, we set off to Ottery St. Mary in the search for the barrels. This is our hotel. <laughs> We've hit the big leagues now. So we could get a five-star mansion if we wanted to, but we keep it humble with a nice little pub. Okay. Hello, Davis. Hello, Jamie. Just be careful, because if you touch a barrel, they don't like that. Oh, do they not? No. Somebody's touched a barrel and they've just got a punch in the face. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just stand up. I'm wet. I can't move. Oh no, he can't stand up. <laughs> In his bedroom. <gasps> oh, that pin just went into my head. Oh, not good. Oh, Much like every time that we do one of these traditions, it's raining. Uh, pretty standard. Also, the uh, the landlady at the pub told us that if you touch the barrels and you're not from around here, you get punched in the face. So, um, great start. We got our little ponchos on. So that's the time they, do, they do look like the type of lads that would punch you in the face for touching a barrel to the barrel. <laughs> right, so what are we doing now? I think we're going to try to find the location of where the kids are putting the barrels on their head. There's not a huge amount of people about, um, but the pubs are open and a couple of shops are boarded up, so it's a good sign of something hectic going on. Shops are boarded up. Shops are boarded up. You just saw that centre square? Yeah, it was yeah. quiet and peaceful. Yeah. Say about 11 o'clock tonight, yeah. Yeah. there should be around 15 to 20,000 people in that square. 20,000? Holy s. Have you honestly never seen what is going to happen here later? Well, he's been keeping it from me, so nah. What's the worst thing that's happened to someone? The worst was about two years ago when some little s threw an aerosol into a barrel. How do they stop that from happening again? Just don't try and tap the barrels, right? Something's happening. Right, it was raining a bit, so we got these, and I'm wearing a nice big puffer jacket. Um, but we've advised by the locals that we'll be set on flames if the, if the barrels come anywhere near us. So, uh, yeah. We kept getting laughed at, and we just thought it was because we were wearing ponchos and it's not raining that much anymore. But um, turns out because they're massively flammable. So we were getting ready to witness the first barrel event of the day. This town gets their children into it from a young age, covering their faces with Vaseline and putting their hands in these mitt things. Nothing about this is normal. Mental me, mental. The little kids are carrying massive barrels, and the parents are like, "Go on, you've got this!" Like, I'm scared, I'm scared. He's putting a massive barrel, this bear hot on the head. There was one little girl I saw that was crying because she didn't get a chance, and he, her dad came down on one knee. He was like, "You need to hustle for it. You need to get it and run." 
passionate, passionate people. Hey, we've seen absolute scenes, it's just a kid version. So, with the kids all done for, we spent a few hours in the pub and waited for the juniors. These were the teenagers of the village, looking to prove themselves so they could graduate to the adult barrels. But first, we thought we'd speak to a few local legends to find out a bit more. So I'm Jamie Ross and I'm at the Tarrell, the, the, the uh, barrel rolling competition, and I'm joined with... I don't know, because I got... I got... I, I'm not there to do nothing like that. Oh, fair enough, mate. Uh, how long have you been involved in this uh, mad, mad, mad? Hang on, is that Simon Amstel? Nah, uh, do you know, it doesn't matter. I started when I was eight years old. I'm 58 now. Jeez, you do the maths. Yeah, it's 50 years. He's been, he's been doing it for 50 years. Day, what is going on tonight and what is uh, everyone looking forward to the most? Well, the men's barrels will be starting at half past seven. Right. Because this is only juniors you're at now. Yeah. And then, of course, the midnight barrel is massive. How big are we talking? Um, well, it weighs about 110 kilo. How was driving the barrels in the 80s? Was it good fun? Did it hurt your neck? Yeah. People used to trip them up. While they're carrying the barrel? They trip them up? Yeah. And then uh, the barrel roller would fall over. It's, it's changed a lot now. It's a lot safer. And when I first started, it was fought for it back then. Have you got any advice to some of the barrel rollers tonight about how to not get burnt? Stay safe, innit? Solid advice, if you ask me. Sound advice. But has you got any tips for us to uh, not die? Yeah, just stand in the middle and sidestep it. One of the lads is down at 7 p.m. here. Drop, they've dropped the barrel. I'm not too sure what's going to happen right now. I think someone's going to try and pick it up. And if they do so, we're going to have to be ready and be on our toes to get out of here ASAP. Five lads around here. Go on, lads! Up it goes. Scramble, go! And he's gone, and he's gone. Go on, lads! They're looking more like a team now. They've learned from the mistakes. Get more tar so the fire's not hot enough. Bloody hell! Oh my god. Someone's got to pick it up, make that jump. Officers, you will not believe what I have seen so far. Honestly, you will not believe it. There's been five different sightings of men running around with barrels of fire on their heads. I don't know what to do about it. Mate, I've, I've, I've heard this. Honest, Nick, honestly, mate, there's one over there. There's one over there. What should we do, officers? You, you need to come and tell me about it. Right, okay, okay. You see him, right, you'll be the first one I call. All right, thank you. Cheers, guys. It's good to know you're on call. Thanks. Absolutely boiling, how was it? It was good. It was great. Your body is physically hot. Like, we're not actually sure, mate, about the rules of this game. But you have to, like, be from Autry and live in Autry for seven years. Oh, really? Yeah. To do it? Yeah. Hi, guys. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, so we run a YouTube channel and we've actually lost a child. Are we good to use the megaphone and just say, Zach and Jay are here, come here. Yeah, sure. On the megaphone. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Hello, if you're looking for the Zach and Jay show, Jamie, we're over here by the two stewards, by the music. All right. Cheers. You know, I'm joined with Zoe Cummings. Zoe Cummings, how was it? Yeah, really good. I've done it for nearly 20 years now. Really? So yeah, yeah, it's so exciting. Your adrenaline just kicks in. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to lift it without that adrenaline pumping with really? all the fire. Wow. And this is my mum. Oh, She's done it for a long time. As well. thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> how long have you been barrel rolling or running? What do you call it, by the way? Barrel rolling. 39th year. 39th year. Wow. Yeah. Do you get some? You need recognition. You need a statue or something. <laughs> You need a barrel named after you. Do you know why people carry the barrels with a load of uh, fire? It's all to do with Otri and getting rid of the um, 
to the plague or guy. To the plague, that's right. That's yeah. what it is. They sort of they lit the tar brows, put them through the houses, and got rid of all the disease and that. Oh, okay. That's how it started. That's quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> the plague's gone, so is Guy Fawkes, but f it, we'll keep the barrels on our end. It's a good laugh. So we're uh, we're about halfway through. We've seen the intermediates. We've seen the childrens doing theirs. Yeah, it was f***ing nuts. Black soot on the face. It, and I tell you what, it's pretty intense stuff. They're running with a barrel and they're not saying excuse me. They're not waiting for you to move out the way. They're expecting you to move out the way. And if you don't, then they'll flatten you. Next one's going to be like double the size. And it is 110 kilograms. It's about one and a half of me and Zach on fire on your shoulders. So this was it, the big, big beast. They were about to release the Midnight Barrel, or as we call it, the Kraken. When are they releasing the Kraken? Fire, fire, we want fire, 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 we want fire, 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 we want fire. Oh, couple. So of course I'm reporting live from the belly of the beast. The 110 kilogram bad boy has just been released. The Kraken is unleashed. It is f***ing hell that is hot. Oh my god it's burning my eyebrows. Oh! And just like the phoenix, it rises from the ashes. This is scenes out here. The barrel of lies again. Harry you called it. Yeah. Now go shove your head in the barrel. The energy, palpable. This was absolute scenes. We had a posse of people with us. Up the bloody show is absolutely beautiful to see. But things were about to get even more hot and steamy. That's why we're in a good little spot here. We've got a bunch of lads. They've sworn to protect us with their lives they're fans of the show but ultimately if that barrel wants you and it's gonna get you it's nearly falling apart now Hell, it's hot. Well, yeah, we had a close call there. It is big, it is hot, and it is big. Great run, sir. Mate, great run, sir. But you are on fire. We're in Ottery with a very hot fire. They've got barrels that are completely on fire. They've got men walking by that are also on fire. Don't come near me with your barrel of fire. <laughs> Logan, how was it today, mate? Oh, brilliant, mate. Yeah? Brilliant, yeah. You've got the classic sweat and tar and a burnt shirt uniform. Yeah. A burnt neck and burnt back. What can you, how can you describe to the people who are watching this um, the feeling of, of, yeah, of just doing it, I suppose? Uh, think of your favourite roller coaster in times it by 10. It's that sort of caveman feeling. Yeah. Just doing something you're not supposed to. Yeah, it is a bit naughty. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Thank you, Logan. Good luck with the case, half fight. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Nice. No Zach and Jay wrapping up that ottery f barrel thing. It's been mental. Jesus We've not been burnt. Um, happy days. It's been a very hot day. People are just running around with barrels on their head that are on fire. No one knows why. And everyone's watching them. It's a good laugh. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Shout out to the Zach and Jay show. Can find agreement by now, so with no pretense, submit that we some heathens. Oh,